Okay, we are here in uh, Kuwait uh, City at the Figurama Collector Office with Mr. Shanab. Thanks a lot for the invitation. Buonasera. <laughs> Buonasera per tutta la sera. Okay, Thank you perfect. so much, Andrea from Toys and Tech, uh, for coming to uh, Kuwait to uh, join us at uh, Confest, which is yeah. going to be in a uh, few hours. Exactly. And uh, <laughs> this is the first time to have you here in our uh, Kuwaiti branch. I hope that you're having a good time. A lot, and I have a lot of questions for you. Please go ahead. Okay, so let's start with some questions for sure from Italian collector. They want to know when we will see something about Okuto no Ken and Mazinger Z. So I will begin answering about Hokuto no Ken. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most challenging uh, projects that okay. we are facing because uh, the author, uh, he is uh, very uh, protective uh, mm -hmm. on his uh, on piece which we respect a lot and um, we are collaborating together to make it a masterpiece so there are lots of rounds going back and forth in mm -hmm. order to make it a masterpiece and hopefully uh, that we are coming to an end uh, for this uh, lengthy uh, process soon so we can share with our collectors Perfect. the other questions is Mazinga Z. Mazinga Z. so uh, <laughs> uh, basically it's done Okay. It's uh, completed, and we are waiting for the right time. Perfect. Yes. Good. Okay. That will be coming soon. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Another question about robot. The, 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 the super robot line, the bust, was really well perceived by the customer. And we know also there is some Italian style because the sculptor is an Italian guy. Luigi. 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 Yes. Exactly. Luigi is a great Italian uh, artist, actually. We have uh, several pieces for him. And he is going to also do another pieces that you will see in the near future. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. So the question is, uh, any update uh, about the, the release of, of course, Super Robot? So Grindizer was the first, uh, Getter and uh, Mazinger Z, and any plan maybe for future robot? So basically about the release, it's uh, coming in the summer. Okay. Um, and um, about uh, Super Robot uh, new pieces as a bust, we don't have anything yet planned. However, uh, we would love to hear any recommendations from okay. our Italian fans if, uh, if they have any kind of request. Okay, perfect. So, also coming Lupin. Lupin was also a really big success and there was a surprise especially because no one was uh, aware about yes. this release and we saw for surprise in Japan Expo. Yeah. When we will see the prototype of Gamond and especially when will be released the prototype Gammon? Is planned to release the statue together with Lupin or people have to wait? That's a very good question. But uh, please allow me to highlight first a point about Lupin. Mm -hmm. We had our most sales in Italy for the first time for any of our statues. That was <laughs> our most sales. So we know how much the Italians are passionate about it. Um, and for that, we have received lots of feedback uh, mm -hmm. from our collectors worldwide about uh, going on peace. We took it seriously and it's gonna come uh, pretty soon. I would say uh, pretty much hopefully around the release. The release of Lupin is gonna be um, around the summer okay. in this year. Um, but we will definitely, we have a very good plan for that piece to incorporate it with the current uh, statue. So Perfect. it's a creative idea that we will advise him to wait and see. Okay, we are curious to wait. One of the particularity of Figurama Collector is, uh, of course, the quality. And uh, can you tell us something more about the QC? How is the QC important for Figurama? How is the QC done in the factory in China? Um, actually, we invest a lot in our QC. We have uh, several QC teams in China, not just one. And we make sure that uh, we are involved on a daily operations with them okay. to ensure the quality of each single piece. Many rounds for every pieces that we receive, even though that we are not in China, we receive the updates, the follow-ups, the feedback, okay. and the correction. Okay. Yeah. Well, very good. good. Good reply. And another question for um, European customer. When European customer now they buy from Figurama Collector website, uh, they can always uh, expect to receive the product from the warehouse in Europe? Yes. Absolutely. We have invested 
in the European warehouse to make sure that our European customers, they are not going to pay for a high shipping cost, okay. taxes, and whatsoever. And um, within a month or so, we are going to announce a new warehouse in Europe that's going to be a closer for our majority oh. of buyers, Perfect. the Italians, the French, and the Spanish. Okay. Yeah. That's good news, really good yes. news. Here, a generic question. Uh, the collectible world after now these two years of pandemia, they change a lot. So a lot of uh, users, maybe they stop to collecting because maybe they are tired about the collection, because maybe they are staying too much at home, so they watch too much the collection. And uh, also the increase of the production cost and the shipping cost. What do you think about this, uh, this this idea of what's happened on the market? Well, if you do a boring design, you will have the <laughs> collectors that are gonna get bored. And that's where Figurama collectors uh, stand out in making a complex pieces with so much details. The more you look at our pieces, the more you will get excited about them because there's always something in, in you. However, I need to agree with you that space is uh, a challenge for uh, collectors. It's something very uh, well known. And for that, we have came up with a new lines that they are going to be like more uh, space friendly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, now uh, I think that across the world, manga, they have uh, overachieved uh, the, the numbers. Uh, they are better than normal comics. Uh, and this is, was a really good point for Figurama Collector. So I uh, see also the future of collectible market is mm -hmm. will be more manga oriented, anime oriented, or superhero oriented? <laughs> well, um, to your point, Andrea, uh, we have always mixed between the anime and the manga. Um, even though that we get the license for the anime, mm -hmm. uh, we get details from the manga because you know, like the manga is like much more detailed, yes. you know? And uh, as we announced, uh, Chainsaw Man, mm -hmm. uh, Dorhedro, these were, uh, uh, you know, like successful in, in the manga. A lot. And luckily now the anime. So it's an idea that we are open for and we have used to do and we will continue doing. Okay. I, I hope I answered your question. Sure, sure. And now talking about Silent Hill. So Silent Hill, uh, we saw the sort of product, Silent Hill prototype was a great uh, product, uh, great idea. So it's uh, the first uh, we can say product on video game starting mm -hmm. from a uh, figure collector. How is your opinion about the video game part? The second one. The second one, right, yeah. correct. It's something, because the first one is Castlevania. Castlevania exactly. exactly. Yeah. So it's something that uh, Figurama want to continue it also on video game side. Tell you something, maybe some tips. Mm, okay, I know that you like tips. <laughs> uh, basically, um, Castlevania, Silent Hill, they are uh, great products. And we saw that there is the need in the gaming market uh, to uh, for uh, uh, collectibles that they are detailed and they are yeah. a more of a higher quality. We will definitely continue doing it, whether in our Elite Exclusive or Elite Dorama or even our uh, new line that we will talk about soon. Okay, thank you. So we are close to the hand, but also, we talked about before about the QC, how it's important the QC, and how it's important also for Figurama Collector, the timing. What I mean, uh, now collectors, they prefer to receive the product uh, soon. Mm -hmm. they, don't wait, they want to wait uh, for some company, maybe two years, sometimes three years. So mm -hmm. when uh, Figurama finish the pre-order time, how much is the timing pass before the product will be on the shelves of the customer? That's a very good question. And as you all know, we have uh, acquired our own factory last year. And with this come a new plan that we are currently working on to reduce the shipping to a maximum of a six months period. Wow. It's uh, challenging, it's not easy, but that's our target, that's our goal. And uh, you know, there is a balance need to be put there because also the collectors, many of them, they have used a payment plan up yeah. to 10 months, uh, 12 months, because we provide that. So if that happens, uh, you know, and we ship within six months, we need to make sure that there is the balance is kept sure. between the, the collector's ability to pay in a shorter time or 
to avoid uh, putting the product in the uh, store because that's an additional fees. Of course, so it's a project that we are working on and I'm sure that we will uh, reach a win-win-win. Perfect. So from the news that we will see and come fast uh, will be Diobox and Diocube. So yes. it's a new line uh, uh, that especially the, um, the Diobox will be a new product, the Diocube will be an update and it's a really interesting product. But this, of course, uh, is a, have a different target of collectors. So you want to expand, of course, now the Figurama collector stance because we want to also to use we are collectors. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and to your point, Andrea, you have made a good point. The Dirt Box, it's a totally new line that we are very excited to show at uh, Confest. Um, it's, uh, it's a high quality photo frame that consists of a minimum of uh, six layers inside oh. that will give you a, a very nice, exciting depth. Okay. And it's done, uh, and uh, you know, in, the, in like terms of the art and design is like done by our artists. Mm -hmm. uh, so to replicate a scene from a game or anime or even a manga, but we begin with the Castlevania. Okay. And uh, I, I'm, I'm so excited to release it for our collectors uh, 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 today at uh, Confest. Also about the Dio Cube, um, it's a re-release uh, for like what we have done yeah. before. And I am very proud of the new designs that I think that they are amazing. And it's a line that we are investing in and we hope that um, our collectors and the new market will uh, love what we are going to show them tonight. I can confirm. I see in person it's really, very really nice. So, and uh, 2023, you just mentioned we opened with the Comfest. So here in Kuwait. Yeah. Any already plan to do some other show across uh, Europe, in the US, uh, any anticipation that you can do? That's a very good question. We definitely have a plans uh, to come to Europe and the US where our uh, majority of collectors are. So okay. we will come to you wherever you are. Good, good. So last question, and you know that uh, I love tips. Yeah. Any tips that you can tell to us uh, what is coming that... Uh, <laughs> That well, you, that you can say, of course. Yeah, um, a very popular anime nowadays that we are working on, and we will release it very soon. A very popular one. Okay, so let's guess. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Mr. Chanal. Thanks a lot. Grazie mille. Grazie mille. Ci vediamo a, a Confest. Ci vediamo a Fase. Grazie a tutti. Bye bye.